So the thing about uh, PR manager, especially if you're at a division PR or at a district PR, you want to control the message. And I wanted to show you how Canva has uh, progressed because what I'm showing you now did not exist two or three years ago when I was doing this Canva workshops. Canva has now created truly a branding hub. I have something called a brand hub. And what the brand hub does is it allows you to define your entire branding guidelines in one place. And this is not specific to Toastmasters, by the way. This is applicable to any corporate entity that uses Canva for designing and want to stay within the branding guidelines. Brand hub is made up of three things. One is the brand kit. I will show you what a brand kit is. The brand templates. And finally, the brand controls. What do I mean by this? So first let us look at brand kit. You can have multiple brand kits. Let's say you are a PR agency and you're doing PR work for multiple corporates and each corporate has their own brand guidelines. So what you can do is you can create a kit for that corporate entity or that, uh, like in our case, Toastmasters. Let me add a new brand kit. And let's say I have a company called ABC Company, right? I have just created a company and I want to define a branding. So as you can see, a brand kit is made up of one or more logos. You can have your color palettes, you can have your fonts, and you can have your photos, and you can have your graphics and icons. And this is consistent for any entity that wants to stay within the branding guidelines. Now, for my example, I will open for you the Toastmaster brand kit that I have already created. We have logos. So what I have done is I went to the Toastmaster brand portal and I downloaded all the logos. I brought them and I put them here. Then the colors. So you can create multiple color palettes primary palette which is made up of my loyal blue true maroon and uh, I forgot the name cool gray ha happy yellow black and white and then i have this gradient combination right blue and then the maroon and then the silver then i have the fonts so what i've done is i have defined the font for the title should be montserrat extra bold so you can define the fonts that should be used for title, for subtitle, for headings, for subheadings. You can define all of these fonts. So for example, this font is not brand compliant for Toastmasters, right? So what I'm going to do is if you want to do any captions, I will click on this button, edit, and I will replace it with So Sans Pro. That's the font I want to use, right? And that's it. So you can define for each element of fonts, what fonts you want to use. You can even upload your own fonts. Like if you wanted not to use Montserrat, but if you wanted to use, for example, Gotham font, you could download a Gotham font and upload it here. I'm not going to go through the pro uh, showing you how to upload fonts. That will take some time. And then what I have done is I went to the, again, the brand portal and downloaded all the images, my Canva brand port. In Toastmasters, we don't have any graphics or any icons, so I left it blank and that's it. And in fact, when we are doing this, what we can do is we can also define the guidelines Right? So you can click here and you can put the guidelines so that anybody who's using photos, they know what photos to use. So I copy and pasted this text from the brand manual. Images should be where people look engaged, empowered, supported, as portrayed in meetings and so forth. So I, I did that. And for logo, I put the same instructions, right? So Toastmaster logo should be clear with breathing space. So instructions also can be kept in the brand portal. The next thing is that uh, we can have something called brand templates, which allows you to create templates which can be used with a click of a button where you just change the text and your design is ready. So we can create templates like this. And finally, we have something called brand controls. What does this mean? It means that let's say I'm a district PR manager and I have a pro account and I have a team that is working with me. By default, they are off like this. Enable color control. It means that my team cannot create any content other than the colors that I have defined in the brand portal. Fonts. I'll click here and say, please stick to the fonts that I have defined in the font section. And then I have this option called design approval. Should I approve the designs created by my team? And I'll say yes. And then we have these options. What kind of design approved? So you can see I have a team here, Priscilla, Kurt, and so forth. 
And I can say flexibility, say approval is encouraged, or in my case, I will say an approval is required. You can't proceed until I approve. And then I go to my team. I have all these people and I, what I have done is I have set them as members. Right? So members means they have to respect the branding controls that I have placed inside my brand hub. Now what happens if I do this? Let's say I have enabled all these controls. Priscilla, who is in the meeting now, she decides to go and start creating some content. She's working in my team and I tell her now, please go and create some content for me. Let's see what she sees now because I have put all these branding controls inside my brand hub. Basically, this is my login and I'm going to use Kajitan's team account, the pro account. So I switch to Kajitan Barreto's team account. And now I he has asked me to create a poster. So I will start from scratch. And again, I'll use Facebook post, maybe landscape. And I'm going to go straight to Brand Hub because everything is there. And I don't need to go to the brand manual. All that was in the brand manual is here. So I choose and I pick on a logo, drag it to corner. I go to Brand Hub. I want to add a heading. And I want to change this color to red. So I go to colors. And from here, I choose the maroon. She cannot choose any other colors. So when she goes on the color screen, she doesn't have any option to choose any other colors. She's stuck with the colors that I have defined. And this is very important. Similarly, if you go and try to change the font to some fancy font, let's say Kuwait Challenges, you are not getting those fonts now anymore because controls on brand kit. I want to add picture. So I pick from the photos. I think I'll use this one. And then I play around with the picture if I want to make it transparent or if I want to set it as an image back, background. And... Well, uh, I just want to get approval as far as this much goes, if this is okay, because I've used the fonts that I need, I've used the colors that are available, I've used the photos and I've used the logo. So just to get approval on this, I share it with Kajitin. Yeah, just highlight to them that you cannot download it anymore because unless you approve it, it cannot be downloaded, right? doesn't allow me to download and it's asking for approval. And I send it for approval. And it says that it has been sent, an email has been sent for approval. So I got a not notification saying that Priscilla has shared a design. So, let, so when I click on the bell icon, I see that Priscilla Barreto share a design with you. Review Priscilla Barreto Kuwait Challenges Club work just now. So I click on it. For this example, let's just assume that she has done great and I say great job. And I'll just click approve because I want to speed up the process. But it gives you an idea now if I approve, she should be able to download this image. Without my approval, it would not be possible. So here I get, it says design approved by Kajit and Barreto. If you continue editing, you will need to request approval again. But if he says it's a great job, I don't want to waste my time making any changes. And so I will download the image. That's your poster for your next meeting. 